I just want to clarify something about you know Andy is frequently reminding us of how to how best to communicate with people and bring them to our side and you're illustrating the things that you've said to people who were a bit challenging when you were trying to persuade them to vote for Christy um, I just want to clarify for everybody the the reason that talking about what we should say doesn't bother me at all is because we're it's all honest and it's genuinely true we're not lying to people we're just saying of all the many things I could say to you that are in fact true I'm gonna choose the three or four that will make the most difference in saving the country and getting you to vote so it's actually it's not at all about you know the kind of lying used car salesman tactic of say whatever you think they want to hear this is actually reminding us of how to approach them and and how to see that even even if they are disagreeing with us on a few things they genuinely do make the Republican Party stronger because the diversity of views that we have in the Republican Party and amongst all of our candidates makes us a better more robust more creative political force in this country we can if we have a, a big diversity of conser generally conservative libertarian views then we can handle philosophically whatever comes up because we've got you know the the depth and breadth of thinking in all of our members we are we're so different from the Democrats in that Democrats really tend to be just follow do what we say follow along and do what we tell you to do and if you need me to give you some candy in order to get you to vote I'll give you some candy if you need me to tell you that we won't have government funded abortions in Obamacare in order to get you to vote for it Bart Stupak we will tell you that they knew it was a lie at the time they lied anyway in order to get him to vote that's what Democrats do and that's not what we're saying that we want ourselves and our people to do we're saying remind yourselves of the fundamental truth that you don't want everybody to agree with you but you do want everybody to vote with you oh absolutely I love reminding them we are the party of individuals we are not the party of cattle I, I, like couldn't, that. I couldn't handle a party that agrees with me and everything thank Hell, God I don't agree with me all the time I mean I change my mind <laughs> <laughs> the um and Corey changes mine. Yeah, as she should. <laughs> but, you know, but, but, but I love reminding, like I said, when they get negative like that, I'm not giving them a line when I say awesome. I mean it. I say, great. Mm -hmm. We're the party of individuals. You want to be cattle and just believe everything your candidate believes? Go to the other party. That's, that's for you. You want to be an individual who agrees with your candidate a lot of the time, but sometimes you don't? That's our party. And here's what's great. In our party, indip individuals freely choose to support other individuals. You'll have Chris Christie out there campaigning for Tea Party governors across the country, and he does. You'll have mm -hmm. Rand Paul. You'll have Rand Paul campaigning for uh, various. Mitch McConnell. Things. Yeah, for exactly. Mitch McConnell. You will have. You will have. Uh, you know, it, we we crisscross, and you have these individuals not being told to as cattle not being herded, but freely supporting each other because we're a team that loves being amongst individuals who make us stronger. Even if we complain about it a lot. We do complain, complain, complain about it a lot. We are not, yes, the, we are not the most uh, traditional family when it comes to these things. We argue quite a bit. We are very dysfunctional, but you know, we, we do want to get things done. We, we do recognize in the end that this is something that we have to win as a team.